Hello dear children, so today a very pride moment for us because today is uh, Army Day, January 15. Yes, my dear children, Army Day salutes the sacrifices of soldiers uh, who lost their lives for the protecting country and its citizens. Yes, my dear children, for the brave soldiers who are the reason behind our pride, our smile. <laughs> My dear children, you know, the reason behind our flying Indian flag is not the wind behind it, but it is the breath of each and every brave soldiers which keeps it flying high. Yes, my dear children. So let's salute the brave soldiers on these great occasions of Indian Army Day. So children, we are discussing chapter Defense Officer Wahida chapter 26 and today is part 4 video i already completed part 1 part 2 and part 3 i hope you also completed your assignments very properly and observing all the parts very very nicely right children so all of you very well disciplined and very nicely see this video up to the last do a study very nicely revision of previous chapter so let's start the today's Part 4 video, watch this video up to the last, there is a question too. So all of you please watch the video. Now let's see the uh, our today's part 4 videos topic. Uh, that is the questions we are asking to Wahida and there is a, another questions. Tell us something about parade. So what Wahida reply, everybody see what is the answer of Wahida. In a parade, four platoons march behind the leaders. Yes, in a parade, what happened? Four platoons. What is platoons? A small group of soldiers. Okay, they are marching behind the leader. And one leader is leading the parade, commanding it very nicely. And the behind there is platoons are there. And 36 commands have to be given during the entire parade. She replied, why they said this? How many command? Everybody, very, very important. This question and MCQs also. How many commands have to be given during the entire parade? 36 command. Okay. Command, you know very well. So, children, you know very well how to give a very, very louder command. Okay, uh, see, you already you are observing in the very nicely Republic Day parades and in the school also uh, how they said uh, uh, very nicely. Red, attention, left, right, left. This whole thing command very nicely. You are seeing uh, in a very nicely in the school also. Okay, so very very loud voice is required. These must be given in a very loud voice. Yes, children, so that. It is heard till the rear. Yes. So louder. So louder. You also can try children. How to give the very nicely loud parrot uh, uh, voice. Okay. Very loud voice. You can give the parrot command very louder. So that your loud voice uh, should also reach the spectators uh, sitting on the other side of the ground. What is the meaning of spectators? The portion who watching the parade, uh, uh, any type of event. So commanding voice is very louder children. So that spectators sitting on the other side of the ground, they are, their voices reach over there very nicely. Okay. So that's you also can do. Try one. Lieutenant Commander Wahida Prisms is a first omen to lead a passing out parade very nicely. Yes, children, she is very nicely hold the positions and giving a very, very loud command, very louder voice. Yes, children. First woman to lead uh, a passing out parade very nicely, Wahida Prism. Page number 208. Another question to Wahida. Did not you feel nervous leading four 
pelotons so what she replied let's see what she reply about this question is she feel nervous there is a question to wahida so let's see wahida defense officer wahida what's her reply i was not nervous but one has to shout 36 command yes children 36 commands if you forget even one the entire parade can get spoiled yes children so if you forget any of the command the entire parade get spoiled for this reason wahida what she do i practiced every morning and evening for a month yes children she practice very hard and for giving this command also she practice very very high so you see but i have seen participating in parade since school so you see wahida is already participated in the school okay as she is a girl guide we already know this thing so you see she is participating in parade in since school also you also doing the parade in the school very nicely yes or no so children in our school is sports day as already you observe so you also participate very nicely in parade very loud voice commanding and what a nice moment children so whenever you get opportunity you please participate in parade and lead very nicely give the commands very well very very louder okay children so let's see the next so here is the next question to wahida what is the meaning of the word prism in your name so let's see what wahida reply for this questions so wahida's answer is my father gave this name to me okay so wahida father is very nicely giving the name to her but why prism name is given let's see a prism is a kind of glass which reflects seven colors yes children what is prism a kind of glass which reflects seven color let's see so here is a picture of glass prisms and white light is passing through the prism and separates white light in a spectrums of colors red orange yellow green blue indigo violet you look at this picture children and you also draw this in your copy so all of you take one pencil and very nicely draw this prism diagrams in a very beautiful in your class of copy and practice well and write all the colors name also too so let's see why the name given to wahida as prism so prism is a kind of glass which reflects seven colors as we already seen so let's see why wahida father is given the name prism so my father wanted me to be like a prism and that is why he started calling me by this name from my childhood itself yes children as prism reflects seven colors so wahida's father also wanted that her daughter will be sign do best in every aspects of her life that was her father expectations so that is why father call prism and we know that prism is what is a transparent optical element with flat polished surface that reflect light you see in this picture children when a ray of light white light is passed through the prism the light is split into the seven different color look at this picture very carefully and everyone draw this picture very nicely prism in your copy very beautiful picture okay so now children one question for you everybody write answer in comments what is the full form of vip cure v stand for what i b g y o r all of you write in comments with your names properly 
So children, let's see one video of parades. Very nicely all of you observe. And after parade video, there will be the questions for you. Please write in class copy and complete the assignments. Okay. The first of the marching contingents, the parachute regiment, led by Major Nikhil Kumar Maurya. They are better known as Red Devils or Paras. The Red Devils never walk in a parade. They are always on the double, which goes to show the high fitness levels that are required to be a para. They are chanting, Hum Bharat ke veer, or Hum apne desh ke rakshak, jati bhed bhav ko mitai. Regiment is being led by Major Anirudh Nair of the 20th Battalion. This is one of the most decorated regiments of the Indian Army with several battle honors and three Paramveer Chakras. The motto of the regiment is Nam Namak or Nishan and the war cry Sarvada Shakti Shali. धुन कानों में और 80 बैंड वादकों का ये संयुक्त बैंड दस्ता नेतृत्व कर रहे हैं रिसालदार मेजर राजेंद्र सिंह बैंड धुन बजा रहा है अरुण वैद्य महावीर सलामी मंच के सामने खालसाओं की सिख लाइट इन्फेंट्री रेजिमेंट का ये दस्ता मेजर अंजुम गोरका की कमान में केसरिया पगड़ी चुस्त कदम पुरानी सिख पायनियर से गठित ये रेजिमेंट रेजिमेंट के वर्तमान स्वरूप का पुनर्गठन 1941 में किया गया था रेजिमेंट का आदर्श वाक्य है देख देख फतेह युद्ध घोष जो बोले सो निहाल सत श्री अकाल राहुल सिंह कटारिया की कमान में ये कुमाऊं रेजिमेंट का दस्ता भारतीय सेना की सबसे अधिक अलंकृत रेजिमेंट कुमाऊं रेजिमेंट जिसे सबसे पहले परमवीर चक्र प्राप्त करने का गौरव हासिल है आदर्श वाक्य पराक्रमो विजय थे युद्ध घोष कालिका माता की जय भारती की जोशीली धुन बजाते हुए भारतीय नौसेना का विश्वविख्यात ब्रास बैंड दस्ता सलामी मंच के सामने से गुजरता हुआ एंड दिस इज द ब्रिलियंस ऑफ द नेवल मार्चिंग कंटिजेंट पासिंग बाय द सल्यूटिंग डेज नाउ अ स्मार्ट सल्यूट देयर बाय लेफ्टिनेंट जितिन मलकट एज कंटिजेंट कमांडर ना कमांडर and we have sub lieutenant spandana reddy sub lieutenant ishu tiwari and sub lieutenant lata shree as platoon commanders the naval marching contingent okay so is the might and firepower of the navy in all three dimensions surface subsurface and air portrayed through the state of the art assets it also showcases the navy's commitment to nation building the indigenous aircraft carrier vikrant under construction at the cochin shipyard limited is an example of make in india So what a nice video of parades. I hope everybody very nicely see that. And children's now get ready for few questions for you. 
please do it in your class to copy very nicely with proper good handwritings. Thank mm -hmm. you.